In the previous lesson, we created this solid. And in this lesson, I will show you how to project another sketch onto a surface. And I'll do it using the example of a text. I will create a text, which I will project onto this surface. And for this, I'll use a construction plane. And I'll show you how to create a construction plane that is offset from one of the basic planes of the coordinate system by a certain value. Select the offset plane command. This is one of the commands that allows you to create a construction plane. Select offset plane, then select the XZ plane. And now by dragging this arrow, you can specify the position of the construction plane. The distance of this offset does not matter much at this point. What is important is that this plane is outside the 3D model. Click OK to approve. And now to create a sketch on this plane, select this plane and select Create Sketch. Then from the Create menu, select Text. Specify the box where this text will be created. And enter the text. I'm going to type in Fusion 360. Select this icon to make the text bold. And these icons to put the text in the middle of this box and click OK to approve it. Click Finish Sketch to exit the sketch and the text was created. And now I would like this text to be on this model and for the text to be 1mm thick and an extrude operation. It will create this text in such a way that this text will be even, not curved and in this case it would be difficult to connect this text to this model. That's why we need to use a different operation for this. Cancel this operation and an operation that will allow us to create text on this solid or allow us to project uh, any other shape on this solid. This is the emboss operation. From the create menu, select emboss operations. As sketch profiles, select what you want to drop. Select the Fusion 360 text. Then activate selecting model faces and select this wall. As you can see, the text has already been dropped onto this wall. Here we can specify the height of this text. Enter 1 mm. And such text can be made convex or concave. By checking this option, the text will be concave. By checking this option, the text will be convex. Click OK to approve. And with this simple way, we have created text on this model. And with this function, we can also project other shapes. It doesn't necessarily have to be text, it can be a different shape. And that's all for today. Links to the rest of the lessons of this training are in the description of this video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel.